fast and hammered. You must protect your turf. We talked about that. You have to win on your home floor if you're going to win your league title. Arizona has that loss to California. They have to steal a win somewhere away from home. There's old Bannon in a little one-on-one. -on -one. He's a left-handed player, so that's his advantage.
I think Gary's trying to be too offensive-minded here in the first half. He's got to wait till his shot comes to him as you look at that coaching staff, Jimmy Hurt. Lorenzo Romar, what a great addition. There he is to the right of Jimmy Herrick, Mark Gottfried to the left. In fact, in practice yesterday, Romar was emulating Stoudemire, and Gottfried, who played in Alabama in 86, was emulating Reed. Stoudemire got a man in the air, made the basket. I like that jump stop with both feet. Romar played in the NBA for years. He's ready to be a head coach somewhere. Was a head coach, actually, with athletes in action and did an excellent job. Oh, great personality. Oh, he's got to take that to the goal right back. Dempsey missed a shot. Clear, yeah. clear. You get the ball in that deep. You got to take it to the goal when you're in that old man. Rigdon for three. Blair runs down a long rebound. Shoot the threes. You get a long rebound. Stoudemire misses a three, and they just cannot find it beyond the arc. It's Eskimo time for three point land. Get out the icicles, baby. I mean, it is icicle time for them on three point land. Take them one on one. You got them right there. They kick out for Eddie for three. UCLA ball. I'll tell you one thing, the top 10 has really improved this year. Larry Conley talked about that earlier in his season. Washington State, Kelvin Sampson's got a heck of a basketball team. And you look at them, they're one and three in the league. They had UCLA 17 down, and UCLA had a comeback and win. Jimmy Herrick, now in his sixth year, five consecutive years to the NCAA, five more game win seasons, and his kids are graduating. Obama lost the handle. Oh, you got to make it happen. Two on one. Stoudemire takes it to the middle on the wing to Rigdon to the basket. Excellent two-man play. Way to take the ball in the middle of the court. Stoudemire dropped a little bounce pass. And Rigdon with a good 45-degree angle cut to the goal. Interesting that Joseph Blair, 5 of 5 shooting. The rest of the team, 7 of 29. As you and I could have been 5 of 5, though, hanging around that box. Not to take anything away from JB, but he's getting those layups on guard penetration. Tarver again, a floater on the ring. Hey, Sean Tarver's in the zone right now. A little bit of that happened in the Indiana Purdue game with Conzo Morton. for 14 from the from the beyond the arc you shoot 31 percent and you're only seven points down i think if you're ludos and you got to say hey we're doing all right here well i think the reason they're in a the game is very simple you and i were talking about it basically defense they're doing an outstanding job defensively trying to control ucla's running game and on the other side ucla was brilliant defensively sean tarver the stopper i mean you think about reeves 40 against michigan he needs some of those tonight he's 0 for 6 from the field and the reason it's because of michigan the Tarver. Conversely, Joseph Blair down low for Arizona is perfect from the field. He's a big reason this team is only seven down. Well, he's the reason, and it's the penetration, the guard penetration. They've done an excellent job. We're going to see a little two-man play right now. Stoudemire and Blair. There he is, clearing it out. The left hander wants to get the good angle for the entry. There's the good bounce pass. Now, Blair, with that little head fake look, he pumps once. He freezes the defense, and he converts. UCLA, Tarver was the star. We're going to watch Tarver run what they call the UCLA high post offense he's going to throw the ball to the wing cut through the defense and then Eddie's going to find them inside and he takes advantage of his strength around the basket Sean Tarver was absolutely the star of the first half and Gabe Khalid Reeves the second leading scorer in the Pac-10 conference everything he wanted and a little bit more than that here are the numbers 31 percent field goal shooting for Arizona that is not going to get it done UCLA wasn't exactly lights out but they were 43 percent both teams shooting free throws relatively well and the three point I love the way he handles the ball. What confidence. Ose puts it on the floor off the glass too hard. Zimmerman rebound. Zimmerman doing a good job rebounding this year. Love for a What a great job just to control the ball and get the feet inbound. What a super catch. Excellent hands. Eddie O'Bannon gets down the court quickly in transition. And again, the Bruins build it up to six. Reeves got in the air. Had to give it up. Reeves again. Not a, good, shot. not a good three. Nice effort, though. 
They're going to set a screen up high for Stoudemire. UCLA doing a good job stepping over the top of that screen. Corey Williams missed everything. Tarver, Edney on the wing. they are and with very good reason we're told by the red cross relief people that they have been helping people here in the southern california area so hats off to a couple of really good guys mike piazza and eric Carroll. that is really super that they have lended a helping hand to people in need and there's so many athletes that do that the Carroll and piazza we have been told have really been working hard helping people in need stoudemire great move oh. He just exploded on that baseline. He seemed a little quick at the point guard position in that arm. Wow, you talk about quickness. That was bullet Bob Hayes quickness. And O'Bannon up front. And O'Bannon's got to get himself a foul, so offensively, he's too talented, multi-dimensional. Had a tough shot, but Reeves is foul. Now, it wasn't a three-point shot. Should be three. He should get three foul shots. No, they're saying two. They're only going to give him two on it? I thought he was behind the arc. I did, too. I thought he was behind the arc. Let's take a look and see. Take a look. We'll freeze it right here. Freeze it. Let's see now as he goes up. Let's watch Reeves. Let's see if he's... Oh, he's behind the line. Clearly. He is clearly behind the line. Should be three. Oh, now they say three, but Bob Sidoff holding up two fingers. Good move by the officials to get it right. That's the key to get make the play and get it right. Jimmy Herrick challenged me to a little tennis today, but he's late arriving. I don't think he really wanted to play me as he misses that free throw. <laughs> Two out of three for Reeves. Six-point UCLA lead with the ball. Here's the pressure by Arizona. Arizona going to a wild man switch in the backcourt between the guards. Interesting, Jimmy Herrick has his ball handlers in here. Both Edney and Dollar in the ballgame. Zimmerman big to the offensive boards through the foul. Rodney Zimmerman and Zedek inside give them solid performances. Against Washington and Washington Bounds State, both games, they were combined for 25 points and 13 rebounds in the middle. Now Zimmerman going to work inside number 14 on the offensive board. He gets fouled on a play. Flanagan picks up his third. Joseph Blair on the bench with four fouls. Such a young team when you look at that UCLA team. Kevin Flanagan, a fifth-year senior. Flanagan's a marketing major, a business guy, graduating, outstanding guy. Wants a job with some major league club. Hey, maybe Jerry Colangelo's listening. Hire him with the Phoenix Suns in the marketing office. Come on, help the kid out, Jerry. Very interesting guy, very nice guy. Always wants to talk about our business, comes over, chats about things, very aware, very smart. What a classy kid, Flanagan. Oh, it's good position. There's the shot, though. Flanagan gets it back, looks for help. Reeves, tough three. He's not getting a real good look at the basketball. He's really forcing his three-point attempt. Tarver got the baseline, rejected beautifully by Geary. Geary's such a quick athlete. And Reeves, the purple at the other end. And they take the block shot and they score. For years, the Boston Celtics with Bill Russell. Nobody did it better. Block the shot, keep it in play, transition, get the layup. He slips back, then he slides through the defense. O'Bannon got a good look, missed the shot. Tarver gets a second chance, picked clean by Stoudemire from behind. Oh, what a nice change of direction. A little shake and bake. Oh, look at that, a little showtime around the back. Reeves in traffic, can't get the roll, Flanagan again, put back. Yeah, Flanagan with the deuce on the offensive boards. Colangelo jumped up, and Phoenix is up in the high roll. Three-point ball game. Arizona just will not go away. And we got a timeout. 6.41 remaining. UCLA 58, Arizona. Arizona plays so hard. Their kids really give everything they have. They emotionally spend everything, especially Gary. you got to really admire his effort defensively. Andy, wrap around the seating. I 
just love playing with Edney and Stoudemire. I mean, they're going to just keep breaking the defenses down, and they're always looking to hand the ball off to anybody that's open. UCLA's done an excellent job defending that high post. That was a great pick by Dollar, and Reeves returns the favor at the other end. They really step out on that screen. You know, you often talk about the running game. There are three stages to a fast break. Your possession, you quickly get it out. The attacking area, hash mark to hash mark, and then the conversion area. Both, both these clubs are having a tough time in the conversion area. And he misses that one, and Flanagan clears. And here come the Wildcats, off of Obama. The defense has been so emotional that the offense has really been sloppy in this game, Barry. You made a good point earlier, too. Both teams trying to do the spectacular. Yeah, always trying to make that flashy, the, the big play, the play that's going to rock the house. So Reeves to inbound. His team down five. Great play oh, by Dow. That's frustration by Reeves. with two fast-handed defensive plays the last two trips. Here is the top ten, and what they've done this week, boy, it's a wreck up there, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. You know, you take a look up on top. Arkansas, though, has been playing, really, without Darnell Robinson. But I want to sing the praises of Richard Williams and Mississippi State. They got Eric Dampier in the middle. Doesn't get a lot of publicity. 15 points, 13 rebounds. North Carolina really has not been the same since Donald Williams has hurt his foot. They need Donald Williams' perimeter jump. Well, Dollar has sure given him some good minutes. Great retrieval by Dollar right there. Two good defensive plays the last two trips down. Both clubs like to use a high post screen for Edney or Stoudemire for a little dribble maneuver off the high post. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Arizona's done an excellent job on Charlie O'Bannon, keeping him away from the basketball. Gary's really locking him up. Boy, had they got the air and no place to go with it. It's going to be off the Wildcats with one second left. Well, we talked about the top five. Let's look at the next five. And Kentucky coming up a loser in the end of the game that you did. UConn, no playing well. Daniel Marshall, big time player. Daniel Marshall, you talk about Marshall and Glenn Robinson to be the two best players in the country. There's a violation. You're down five, you got six on a clock, can't make those kind of mistakes. Arizona's two for 21 from three-point range. Two for 21, and they're down five. Now Bannon finally gets it in for Dollar. See, right now you gotta have a designated four. You gotta come up with a good play. Option number one, what will it be? Barry, both clubs struggling in their offensive half-court games. Look at Herrick, Godfrey to Robart, Godfrey to the right. Played on a great Alabama team in 1986 that lost to Ricky Petito and Providence for the right to go to the Final Four, 86-87 season. Uh, Steve Lavin, another assistant coach on the bench next to Lorenzo Romar. Steve's dad was a pretty good player. Kathy Lavin, I'm sure you remember him. He's yeah. here tonight. Lavin also worked at Purdue. O'Bannon leans in. Offensive foul. Good call by the official. Excellent call. O'Bannon definitely made contact on the chart. Defense rotated over. Square near body. There it is. No doubt about it. Flanagan, excellent job stepping in, taking the charge. Fourth foul on O'Bannon. Watch Flanagan. There he is. Steps in. Shoots, not what you call a high percentage shot. Real quick. And O'Bannon leaves for City. What a super transition play. And O'Bannon with that nice little handoff to Zita. Stoudemire got a good look that time. But missed the shot again. 
It's been a nightmare from three-point land, Barry. It's been a nightmare. Well, we talked earlier, Dick, about the battle between Sean Tarver and Khalid Reeves. Remember, the first half, Tarver held Reeves without a field goal. Second half, the other way. They've done an excellent job defending that screen up high. Into the game for Wildcats, Dylan Brinkman replacing Reggie Neary. 2.39 remaining seven-point game. Here's the reset. UCLA with a couple of timeouts. The Wildcats with just one. Arizona 19 fouls. UCLA only five significantly. Doesn't get any easier for UCLA. They got a date with Arizona State. Bill Frieda's team blew away Southern Cal today. Different team with Mario Bennett. Yeah, it's Stephen Smith certainly could play ahead of Smith. And they're going to give Ray O's that shot all night long. They have to have a stop here, and they need a big play when they get the ball back, Arizona. But they must stop him here. Look, they're going to open it up to a 1-4 one, set, 1-2-2 one, two, two set. See, here's that five-second count. Now, normally, this would be a defensive play. This is where if you have a great guard, you put it in his hands, and he can dribble it down. I don't like this rule. I hate this rule. And Andy tries to blow by the man. Blair stepped in front just enough. And here come the Wildcats. This is a big possession. A must possession for Arizona. Joe Blair around Zenith. Score the basket. Score the basket. He says no, but Ed, yes, sir. Ed screaming, no, 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 no. Look at that. Jimmy Herrick thinks it. And I definitely thought it was going. Then Eric comes to the weak side. Oh. Again, we get second and third looks. They only get one shot. Tenth team foul now. It's going to be two shots for Ty Sedney. Not really the guy you want shooting him. When you talk about winning time, really is more when you get to the end, making free throws. UCLA is last in the in the Pac-10 on the free throw line as a team. He's not a bad one though. 73 percent, five for six tonight. That's what I was going to say. When I say he's not the guy you want there, I mean, if you're Arizona, he's not the guy you want there. Especially late in the game. He's really clutch late. They should be a better free throw team than what they are. They should be able to get that percentage up, UCLA. 21 for Tyus Sedney. Has he been a factor? Only shooting 60%. You got that right. He's been a factor with the rock in his hands. And also defensively, he's given a lot of problems to spot him on. Reeves got Tarver in the air, got in the lane, and made it. Those baskets are so soft. Those rims really, really soft. Oh, nice look. Now, Andy behind the back spinner. Don't need, get it. Don't need that spectacular play there. And he'll get a second chance. Bring it back out. That's a smart play. That's using his head. That's being bright. Now, here it is. He can dribble down some time. There's no count. Can't hand check him. Can't hand check him. Fourth foul on 
John Stoudemire. Lou Olsen has had this team, I really feel, overachieving all year long. This is not a dynamite club in the world of talent. When you look at their baseline, a lot of hard, tough kids who play hard. But this is not what you would call a club when he had the Brian Williams and the Mills and the Stokes and the Rooks and that combination. And with a minute and six seconds left, Things are not exactly in the bank for UCLA. Well, you know, you talk about the three-point shot, certainly a big factor, but Arizona not taking advantage at all year. They've been a dynamite club using that three-point line. Well, two possessions with a minute and five seconds. Two quick possessions, you can have a tie game. So they're lay a screen to get somebody open for a good look at the screen. That's a walk. Big play. Big play. Zedek really doing a good job defensively. This crowd has been live all night long. Now here's where they want the ball because Stoudemire, remember, has got four fouls. Spread the court. Spacing. Spread the court. Move the ball. Now don't put it in Edney's hands. Remember, if he just holds the ball, if he just holds the ball, the count is in effect. Oh, you don't want any fighting, any words. Geary and O'Bannon. O'Bannon's pointing to the scoreboard. Look, oh, Geary's saying he's running his mouth. I thought yesterday was unbelievable. They called a technical foul with about 12 seconds on Connecticut. I thought it was an unbelievably poor ball on Donnie Marshall. I've seen a couple of those this year. Hands, clapping his hands. The better, you got to use better good a T at that time of the game. Do it. UCLA looking at number one, Dick. Yeah, they definitely are. If they wrap it up this weekend at home. They'll be the number one team in the poll, unbeaten, unblemished. It looks like they're passing their calculus test. <laughs> Everybody was saying, hey, respect. They haven't played anyone. They haven't beaten a legitimate team all year. Let me tell you, Arizona is legitimate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They may be passing their calculus test, but they got Russian literature coming in. Hey, I'll tell you what, then. They better pull the bus driver, get the engine heated up, baby. This one looks like it's over. Oh, it's for oh, Ray Oak says we're keeping it a little bit alive. Very close to an offensive foul. Use the shot clock, spread the court, the canopy with the basketball. I mean, they've been a disaster all night, Arizona, on that three-point line. They finally get one from O's. I mean, they were two for 22 at one time on a three-point line. They started a chant, we're number one. You have heard those cries here a few times? John Wooden, to me, the greatest achievement in the, in the history of sports, winning 10 national championships in 12 years. The going undefeated, which you have to do during a postseason. And look at Jimmy Heron. There's his two guards, Godfrey and Romar. They emulated Stoudemire and Reeves at practice yesterday. Romar, a former NBA player. Big time shooter, Lorenzo Romar. Yes, he can shoot the rock. Handle it well, too. Boy, Arizona cannot catch a break. UCLA is getting them all, and they're well earned. Zedek never jumped so high as he did there in the Czech Republic. 3.8 student. Look at this crowd. Are they excited? The UCLA Bruins are back. Number one for the first time since 1983. It's alive and well basketball at UCLA. Ty Asedi puts it on the floor. Being pursued and they can't catch it. Carver set the tone defensively early in this game on Reeves. Gary having a dialogue with the officials the whole night. Eight seconds left. This one's history. Huge win for UCLA. Yeah, they got the bus. The engine is all on. The engine's on. The bus is warmed up. like this line for Tyus Edney. Yeah, not bad. 24 points. On 
unbelievable six assists. Tremendous night. Did a great job defensively against a dynamite point guard. You better believe that that backcourt, when you talk about your backcourt, is back. Harbour wants to talk to us. He better play basketball. Harbour wants to talk to us. contain himself and look cool. I know Jimmy better than that. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to be real calm and cool about it. But there's all kinds of excitement here. I used to wait for the end of the year to get this excited. Yeah, as you were saying earlier that you hadn't seen this Pauly Pavilion crowd like this in 10 years. I'm here probably even a little bit more than you are, and I haven't seen it like that either. I thought it was beautiful, the defensive effort by UCLA, because when we think of Arizona, you're talking about a dynamite backcourt, and they contain that backcourt all night long. Yale. He just locked up Mr. Reeves. And a terrific game plan, as a matter of fact, drawn up by Jimmy Herrick. You gotta give him credit for that, too. They did what they set out to do. For Dick Vitale, I'm Barry Tompkins. See you next time. ESPN's exclusive coverage of NCAA basketball has been brought to you by the people of Nike, who encourage you to just do it. And by the all-new Ford Mustang. It is what it was. And more.